Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight between Alice in Wonderland and Little Red Riding Hood? Or if you were to play Bigfoot in a fight, who would you like to go against? The Unmatched series can answer all these questions and a lot more on the battlefield. Unmatched is an asymmetrical miniature fighting game for two or four players. You choose your fighter from any of the Unmatched games and you take its unique deck of cards along with your sidekick. So each hero has a different playing style and unique abilities because in battle there are no equals. In the game players take turns maneuvering their fighters on the battlefield and there's of course different settings to choose from. Each hero has their own starting health and in order to win you need to bring your opponent's health down to zero before they do that to you. The spaces of the battlefield are divided into zones. All spaces of the same color are part of the same zone. When it's your turn, you must choose two actions from the three available, which are maneuver, scheme and attack. When you maneuver, you must draw one card and you may move your fighter and their sidekick as many spaces as their move value and you can boost this with additional moves by discarding a card. The scheme action allows you to play a card with this symbol and you activate a special effect of the fighter it applies to. And then we have the attack. You declare your target, you may attack from an adjacent space or with ranged attacks if your target is on the same zone as you. The attacker chooses and plays one attack card face down and the defender may also play a defend card. They reveal them and resolve the effects of the combat cards if any and see if the attacker managed to deal any damage to the defender. And that's it! You then only need to see the special abilities of your chosen hero's deck and you can start playing. The only question is which hero to choose. King Arthur sacrifices cards to power up his attacks and gets some timely assistance from Merlin's magic. Alice is back from Wonderland with a giant blade and the Jabberwock by her side. As she grows and shrinks, she can gain advantages on attack and defense. When you're up against Medusa, your biggest mistake would be to be in the same zone as her. She damages you from a distance, she lets her harpies hound you, and just one devastating glance from her could end the battle quickly. Sinbad grows in power as he gains experience on each of his voyages and may move himself or the porter plus one space for each voyage he has used. Little Red Riding Hood is back into the woods together with the handsman and her cute little basket that is full of little tricks. She may resolve an effect on a card she plays if the symbol on it matches the item in her basket, which is basically her discard pile. Robin Hood together with the four outlaws can parkour along the trees, I'm assuming, as after he attacks he may move up to two spaces. Beowulf has a secret weapon apart from his kinsman Wiglaf. He starts with one Rage and whenever he's dealt damage he gains one more Rage to a maximum of three. This Rage can be spent on many different actions like extra power in combat, make extra moves and so on. And Bigfoot, together with Jackalope, comes crashing in and he can take advantage of the zones. If no opposing fighter is on his zone, he can draw a card. Unmatched is probably one of the most beautiful games I own. The production quality and the art are just insane. Also, it's very easy to teach and start playing, so it's definitely one of those games that won't just accumulate dust on your shelves. You're gonna find lots of willing opponents to enjoy this with. There's tactical movement and there's no luck in combat, so there's opportunities to master each hero's playing style. And there's loads of amazing heroes to choose from and always more coming out. It's a great two-player game and it's also good with four players in two teams. And overall, Rhino says a big yes to Unmatched. You should check it out.